I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Sorry enough. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, it, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us a rolling. And our kids, and we need these, the Lord's gifts in these dark times. Are you sorry enough? When you confess your sins, are you actually sorry enough? Have you changed? Have you put your sins aside? Are they as far from you as east is to west? Are they your buddies, your partners in crime that you will get around to losing sometime before you die? Are you sorry? Are you just scared you're going to get caught? A look, an honest look at ourselves finds us never sorry enough. Not actually, not really. And still clinging to our sins a lot. And this is not, hey, I just gave you license to not be sorry and to still be sick. No. Um, what I mean is that we can't bet and bank on our sorry before God. We actually need to be forgiven even of how sorry we are. Sorry and being sorry for your sins in and of itself doesn't save. Ask Judas. He was super sorry, went to the wrong church. You know how that went. But what I mean is that it is the Lord's goodness that repents you. It is the Lord's grace that he calls you out of your sins and out of your despair. And to put any of that repentance upon you is to introduce an element of uncertainty in it. I'm not sorry enough. I don't feel sorry enough. I am not sorry enough. The problem might be the enough. Adverbs are the antithesis of the gospel. Uh, but whether or not you're focusing in on being enough sorry or sorry at all, as long as you make it about you and how repentant you are and how sorry you are and how much you've changed, it will never be about Jesus. You see, God needs to save you completely from you. And again, I'm not giving you permission not to be sorry. I'm saying when you look at yourself and realize I'm not sorry enough, there's hope for you still. And that's in the suffering and death of Jesus. Christ fills your repentance as much as he fills your justification. It is the goodness of God that brings you to repentance. And so I would, if you look at yourself and realize I'm not really sorry or not sorry enough, I'd confess that to God too. And ask in him, ask him to begin to make you sorry for your sins. And sure as, sure as he is God and you are not, sure as he is perfect and the one who died and rose again for you, he will work in you repentance. He will work in you sorry. He will work in you contrition. And you can never trust in that. Um, never trust that you're sorry enough, contrite enough, changed enough. But you can leave it all to Jesus and let him be the one that saves you from your sins and your sorry. And again, if you take this as somehow I don't believe that the regenerate sooner or later are sorry, okay. Um, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that the one who works the sorry in you is the same one who died and rose again for you. You are not all by yourself supposed to make you sorry enough to merit favor with God. That's not how it works. That's the way of law and sin and death. And the answer to the question from God, are you sorry? Are you sorry enough? Is no, I'm not. But on the cross, God died for my sorry. On the cross, he died for my sins. And as surely as he rose again from the dead on Easter morning, so I am raised from the dead to a new life, no longer trusting in how sorry I am to make things better. Instead, I'm pointing to Jesus. So I'm pointing to Jesus in my sorry, and I'm pointing to Jesus in my not sorry. Enough. In both ways, I'm going to trust in him to work the good work of contrition and change in me. It'll be his work, not mine, just as it was his saving, not my saving. 
And if you got issues with this and you want to take it up with me and go one-on-one -on -one with me, well, go ahead. Do it in the comments. And also, like I told you, check out these babies in the store. Brand new spanking. Is it not great? It's actually two cups. You can undo this and it has its own second lid along with the first lid. Isn't that the greatest cup you've ever seen? Well, yeah. MyHT.HireThings, I'm sorry, HireThings.org slash merchandise. There's the website. That's the one you want to go to to get the new cop. Get it today. You'll be sorry if you don't. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Pastor George Morkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.